Hi, welcome to our Extract 3D tutorial. My name is Eugene from Polyga and today I'm going to walk you through the key features and controls of our signature plugin, Extract 3D. To give you a bit more information, Extract 3D is a SOLIDWORKS plugin that allows you to reverse engineer 3D scanned objects into parametric CAD model. To learn more about the software itself, simply just click in the link in our description and you can learn every bit of features and usage example of our Extract 3D plugin. Without further ado, let's roll into the tutorial and I will see you there. Welcome to the Extract 3D tutorial. Today we're going to reverse engineer a very simple object, the hook of a bucket, as you see in this case. Our Extract 3D plugin supports various types of files, including STL files, OBJ, PLY, and more. So to do this, locate the SOLIDWORKS. On the Extract 3D tab, you will click Import to import your desired object file. If you don't see the file in the correct folder directory, just click Mesh right here, and it will show up the STL, OBJ, and PLY files here. So double click the object you want to import, click open, and make sure center on import is checked. Click OK to import the object. Now we have finished the first step to input the object in SOLIDWORKS safely. Now to move on to the second step, we have to correct the coordinate system. As you see when I go on the front plane, it doesn't quite show me the front side of the object. Conversely speaking, the side plane is not correctly sideways. So what we want to do is to create plane along the top side and front face of the objects and orient it properly using Extract 3D tools. To create a plane on an object, go to the Extract 3D tab and click Create Plane. Now make sure you have three plus points here checked and this sidebar menu is loading up normally. To create a plane, just simply click on the side of the object and it will show you a plane generated with respect to the surface you selected. Click create to create a plane. If you don't see a plane upon clicking the create button, that's okay because sometimes the plane creation becomes a bit small and it locates to the off center of the object. So just make sure you're not creating multiple planes by mistake. So we're gonna keep continue this process to create the top facing plane as you see right here and also the front plane as well. Oops, that's a bit weird. See, if you create a funny plane like this, what you can do is to clear selection and you can restart again. We'll click a few points here to make sure the object is, the plane is perpendicular perfectly. Click create, so now we have three planes. And what we want to do is that we want to extend the size of the planes right here. One, two, three. Okay, so now we have these three planes created. We want to create a coordinate system with respect to these three planes. To do it, just click coordinate system. You want to select the X axis. In this case, we can do plane 5, Y axis, we can do plane 6, and Z axis, we can do plane 4. Click yes, and we have this coordinate system that is being set up. So we want to do X axis here. There you go, done. And to select a reference system, just go to Extract 3D, click on the object and use coordinate system. Simply click this coordinate system one we just created. Boom. 
now we have a system that goes with respect to the object. So now we can just hide all these three planes and we can show the SOLIDWORKS planes and voila. It is now aligned. So that's the second step of the Extract 3D workflow. Now we're going to move on to the third step which is slicing the cross-section of the object. This is especially useful because you're allowed to see the cross-section of the object and you can start sketching to reverse engineer your parametric CAD model. So to do this, select the plane you want to slice on. In this case, we can do the front plane and click the slice button on the Extract 3D tab. This is going to show you the red outline is going to show you the cross-section slice upon the plane. If you want to move the slices across different heights on the cross-section, select Move Slice, and there is this tiny arrow that allows you to slice the objects depending on how you move it. We have move it to the middle and you can see the outline of the hook itself. And to store this slice to memory, just click Store Slice. And this will turn into a dark red outline, and you can keep this outline on the plane and sketch along with it. So a quick tip to get really good slicing data is to use this Create Entity, um, create entity feature. This is kind of like the concept of 3D points on the mesh, that allow you to set your reference plane um, depending on the parameter of the 3D points you set. So for example, if I don't want to track the arrow to move my slice, I can just click this 3D point along the side of the object. And what I can do afterwards is to create a plane using reference geometry in SOLIDWORKS. We'll set the first reference to this as parallel and we'll set the second reference to these points to coincident. Whoops, we're getting some rebuild errors. We'll delete this. And as you see, this will allow us to very precisely set a SOLIDWORKS plane on the 3D points we have assigned earlier. So this allows us to get even more precise slicing with the Extract 3D Slice function. Instead of moving the slice, what you want to do is to click on the plane right here and click the Slice button. But for this time being, we can keep this slice and start sketching our reverse engineering model. Now it's actually really good to use uh, a plane that lies very close to the slicing point of the objects for sketching purposes. And I'll show you why in just a second. To properly reverse engineer this, we are going to start sketching. So we can select sketch and in extract 3D, we can click hide all meshes to hide the outline of the sketch of the meshes. Click sketch right here and start drawing. In this case, it would be the shape of the hook. We can use a straight line here for this demonstration purpose being. We'll just cut off We'll just draw it from the top side to the bottom side. Okay. Can move this point a bit closer. 
and we can use the spline tool here to start drawing the curvy outline of the models. Make sure when you're using spline to be um, precise. If you see a lot of curvature at certain part of the object, just like more frequently, and this will allow SOLIDWORKS to interpolate the curve a lot better, hence drawing a more accurate representation of the object. As you can see, it's interpolating and making corrections. As you see right here, the object is not very well scanned because there are there are parts data that are missing in this in the mesh model. So this is where we can bring in the meshes and interpolate the shape of it and start making more sketches accurately. So this will be a complete, complete section of the objects. And if you want to make it more accurate, what you can do after is to select this face and click fit. And you see it makes it fit the object so much more accurately than what we had drawn initially. Now you may want to watch out for self, um, self repeating uh, geometry in this case because the scan data is not perfectly accurate. So if this part overlaps, then you might have some problem extruding. But as we see right here, that is not a concern for us. So now we have this objects here. We have a solid work drawing here. We can start extruding this out. And if you use SolidWorks regularly, you would know. Just go to features, select this face. We'll do an extrude like this for 10 mm, and boom, you have the hook of the bucket reverse engineer. Now what you want to do after, you can just deselect slice and you have this object here available for 3D printing or if you want to send it to your clients, you can do that too. But that's basically the gist of a 3D Extract 3D plugin. You have the import mess feature, 
you can create planes and make a new coordinate system that corresponds with it. Subsequently, you can use the slice feature, get a new plane here, and uh, start drawing your parametric CAD model. And obviously, you can take this to all sorts of crazy way. We have only done one side of an object, so if you have like deep contours on your on your import mesh, you can use different planes for slicing as well. So for example, if I select this plane right here, we can slice along this side of the objects. See right here, you can move it and uh, depending on where you move your slices, you can see the different features of your objects across different axes. So this is going to be very useful in engineering more complicated objects that has different cross sections. And uh, you, can get, you can get really creative with this skill and software Extract 3D here. We have tons of more advanced tool we haven't covered. So if you're interested in this, make sure to leave a comment and like, subscribe to our channel for more future updates. So as alongside with that, if you want to learn more about the software Extract 3D, just click the link in the description and sign up for a free trial today for free. Thank you for watching us and uh, subscribe for more to come. I'll see ya.